The doors open and a woman walks in. She's swinging one arm up, bends over casually to look at the panel, and she's firing down the whole center row of buttons and then moves to the corner of the elevator. She pokes her head out and whips her head both ways. And then she's retreating back and is tucked away into the corner. She kept looking outside the door, looking around the corner to her right. Then she would come out of the elevator and she would hop up. She's making these strange steps in almost this square dance motion, stepping back and forth in the door. Why is the elevator not going anywhere? Is someone pressing a button and keeping the elevator here? Elisa starts pressing these buttons. She was running her fingers through her hair a little bit. She's waving her hands. It's like she's conjuring a spirit or, or, or like acting something out to someone. She exits to the left of the elevator, and then all of a sudden, she's gone. You think, OK, that's going to be the end of it. But you're just looking at an empty elevator. What the hell's going on here? You know, one strange thing is that the whole time Elisa's in there, the door never shuts. And now it shuts very quickly, 